Previously on Setup Makeover. What's up guys, it's Justin here and welcome to Setup Makeover Episode 2. So it's been two years since the first one and it was always one of my favorite videos to make but for some reason we never really got around to making the second version of it. But it's really a series that I want to build for many years to come and eventually hopefully open up to you guys where I will fly out to your place and redo your entire setup. If you guys would like to win an item featured in this makeover just make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video and also leave a comment down below about your favorite improvement from this setup and I'll be picking a winner in the comment section when this video hits 5,000 likes. You can also find a link to all the items featured in this makeover down below. So for this episode, my videographer Nick mentioned that his dad had a setup that was about a decade old and it hadn't really changed since. It also looks like it hadn't been cleaned in 10 years. It was kind of dirty, it has a lot of random stuff on it, the furniture was a bit old, and it also had a dining chair, and it just seemed like it could use a lot of work. With this desk, we really wanted to keep the main elements of it, but also give it a whole facelift in terms of the visual side of things, as well as the tech side of things, and make it as good as it can be for many years to come. It was also very important to keep the fundamentals of the user of the desk in mind to ensure that this setup is nice and customized based on the needs. So we kind of planned out the visual side of the setup, the tech elements that would go into it, and ordered up the stuff, and we drove up to Souk BC to do this makeover. Okay, so here we have my dad's setup here. He's had the same setup. He hasn't put any money into it. He hasn't done anything. I don't even think he's cleaned it for, I don't even know how long it's been. I'll show you guys everything around here. So we have some vape juice, some scratch and win tickets. There's nails, an old printer that uh, I think barely works. And the keyboard is chocked full of gamer gunk. And you can see inside, there's lots of schmutz in there. Oh, your keyboard isn't fucking full of chip dip and covered in splooge? Oh. Oh, well, you're not a real gamer. Stop with gamer gunk, dust, chip dip. I need game residue. I'm a real gamer. So similar to the verse makeover that we did, this one was a desk that was pretty dirty. It had cobwebs on the side and it just looked like it was used on an everyday basis, but not much care was really put into it. And I mean, that's totally normal. My desk looks like it hasn't been cleaned in a while a lot of the times and you just get a little bit busy. So the first step was just a lot of cleaning, clearing things out and having a fresh slate to work with. With any makeover, it's also important to give this place a nice fresh coat of paint just to give it that nice clean look to go with the desk. In this case, it was already white, so we didn't have to change the color at all. So when it comes to all the items featured in a makeover like this, you break it down into two different sections. You've got the furniture and kind of the design elements as well as the tech side of things. For the most part, I did try to keep value in mind, but there might be a few different things in this video if you guys are looking for inspiration that you feel like is just not that necessary and that is how you can reduce the cost. So beginning with the table, I wanted to go with something that kind of fit the overall theme of the room, but didn't go too modern because the previous desk was made out of wood. Typically I'd go with something like black, white, or gray, but I decided for this one, a wood texture would look really good. So the desk is from Wayfair, it is called the Getty Desk, and it came in at a price of around 135 US dollars, which I think is a very reasonable price for a good table. It also came in at a perfect size for the space at 49 inches in length, and the table itself is 24 inches deep, which I believe is kind of the minimum between the user and the computer screen to have a comfortable amount of space. It does really follow a rustic modern theme, and I think it looks really good. So as the desk was being assembled, I noticed that they used kind of a spring hinge for the drawers, which I was honestly not a fan of at all. So I decided, let's just go ahead and take that out and use the original handles found on the previous desk, just to kind of give it that rustic modern look with a small touch from the past. The next piece that we picked up is also very, very important, and that is a cable concealer, and my favorite type is the J-Channel. I have this on literally all of my setups, and at the price of $20, it also comes in a length that is the perfect length to match the 49-inch span of the desk. The next piece that I added in case we we're going to need it is a cable concealer. This came in at a price point just under $16, and with a white iMac cable, it kind of hides that pretty well. I also thought I'd add a pencil holder at the price of $13.99. It is silicone, it's got this kind of geometric modern look, and it matches the gray of the speakers we have 
have. A lamp is always a nice piece to have, but I really don't like large table lamps unless the desk is a little bit longer. So one like an Edison bulb works very well. And this one kind of has that vintage vibe and comes down at a price at 1039. For a good place to house your phone, whether it's an iPhone or an Android, just with a simple dock, the 12 South High Rise Deluxe is my pick. And it comes in at a price point of 1599. Next up, a headphone holder was also added for the price of $6.98 and this just screws onto the side of the desk and you can get it in silver or black. And in this case, the black matches with the hardware very well. The chair is one that I have from Rove Concepts and they make some more high quality stuff. It's got fiberglass and it's got this nice material to it and it comes in at a price point of $329, but I'm gonna make sure I have some links to some alternatives down below that are a little bit more economical. Last but not least, you also have a Satechi leather mat for your keyboard and your mouse, and it just kind of protects the surface of the table, and it comes in at a price of $34.99. The total price for all of the kind of furniture and decor items was $254.31, which I think is a pretty good deal, considering you've got a desk, all the accessories needed, and a lot of these accessories are very optional. On the tech side of things, there's a lot of ways you can do it, depending on what you need or what you want, whether you're more into audio or you want a nicer keyboard. But in this case, I tried to kind of mix it up in different categories. So the keyboard might be a little bit more expensive, the speakers are more expensive for sure, but the mouse for example is kind of a previous gen and I think it's a very very good deal for what it is. So here's what we picked. For starters, the Logitech G413 mechanical keyboard is the one in silver, and this one is $120, which is $20 more than the regular version. It is wired and illuminated, and because Nick mentioned that his dad is into a little bit of moderate gaming with a pretty old game, this is kind of a good fit. And so the speaker, we went with the Kanto U2 in the gray color, which I think goes very well. And this just kind of finishes off the entire setup on both sides. And this one also comes in many different colors depending on what you like, but I think gray looks amazing on this particular setup. The mouse that we picked is one of the most popular from Logitech of all time, aside from the master line, and that is the Logitech G602 gaming mouse. It is wireless, it's very ergonomic, it's got good battery life, and it comes in at a price right now on Amazon of $26.99, which is significantly cheaper than what you were able to find it for before. As for the headset, you have the Logitech G432 7.1 surround headset, and that is great for anyone who is into gaming. And I think it's also a major upgrade from the previous headset that looked pretty worn, and this comes in at a price of $59.99, which I think is also a steal. Another piece of tech that was also picked up for a 2009 iMac was 8 gigs of RAM, which was $36.99, and that gives you effectively 12 gigs of total RAM, which will give you a pretty big boost on a computer of this age. Whenever you're trying to reuse something from a previous setup, the most important thing is to give it a quick clean, whether it's wipe down the screen or take away some of the dust that's been piling up for so many years. The total price for all the tech items listed in this video is $463.95 and the price will really fluctuate depending on the time you're watching this video. So make sure you check that link down below with all the info on the latest prices. So now that finally brings us to the end of this makeover and as you can see it looks completely different than the one before, obviously. It just looks so much newer, more modern, but at the same time still retains some type of vintage look to it in some areas, whether it's the lamp or the table color. But at the same time you have some of the latest and greatest tech including the mechanical keyboard, a gaming mouse, a great pair of speakers, a matching dock for an iPhone, and also some small touches here and there such as the mat, the cable channel, and also the headphone hanger. I think this should be a great setup for many years to come and kind of just simplify things and at the same time matches the aesthetic of the entire room and the new floors. But that pretty much wraps it up for another episode of Setup Makeover and this one right here is one that I think turned out very very well. It, it matched the floor very nicely, it gives it a nice fresh feel to it that is modern but at the same time a little bit rustic. With the reused handles you've also got some speakers, you have a much improved headset, keyboard and mouse. You also gave the computer a little bit of a functional boost and also added a few elements here and there just to add a bit of decor and the overall color and scheme just goes all together as one. I'm personally very obsessed with doing setups and kind of planning them, designing them to specific needs. And as you guys might have seen on the channel in the past, there's been a lot of theme setups and I've pretty much updated every desk and done multiple different types of themes. But my personal desk definitely needs a lot of work, so maybe that's next, but I just really don't know what I want. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and drop a like. And let me know down below what other setup videos you would like to see, and I'll see you all in the next one.